Turkey emits about 500 megatons (MT) of greenhouse gases (CO2 eq) each year, about 6 tons per person, and has no plans for a peak in emissions. The country was one of those contributing most to growth in global emissions in the decade to 2018. Although Turkey is likely to meet its unambitious intended nationally determined contribution its policies as of 2018 would still result in 2030 emissions being half as much again or even double 2010 emissions, which is why its plans to limit emissions have been described as critically insufficient. Climate change in Turkey is forecast to accelerate. The fossil fuel which emits most is coal in Turkey, used to generate electricity in Turkey, for heating and by industry in Turkey, followed by natural gas, also used for heating and electricity generation, and petroleum products used for transport in Turkey. Energy in Turkey, including transport, is by far the biggest emitter. Industry and agriculture in Turkey emit a small proportion and reforestation of Turkey absorbs a small proportion. Turkey has signed, but not ratified, global agreements on reducing greenhouse gas emissions. The country has not yet ratified the Kigali Amendment to the Montreal Protocol to regulate hydrofluorocarbons, and is one of the few countries which have not ratified the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Sources 526 mount of CO2 EQ was emitted in 2017, however 100 mount was reabsorbed by land use, land use change, and forestry for 2017 the total uncertainty without LULUCF was 5.3%, but with LULUCF it was 13.8%, because the amount removed by forests is very uncertain. Turkstat follows Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC guidelines and uses production-based greenhouse gas emissions accounting to compile Turkey's emission inventory and submit it to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change UNFCC annually in April. <inaudible> Energy In 2017 the energy sector, which under IPCC guidelines includes fuel for transport, emitted almost three-quarters of greenhouse gases. Industrial processes and product use and agriculture emitted about an eighth each. The largest emitters are energy industries mainly electricity generation followed by transport. Carbon capture and storage barely exists in the energy sector as it is not economically viable as Turkey has no carbon emission trading. <inaudible> <inaudible> Electricity generation In total power stations in Turkey emitted 145 mount CO2 EQ in 2017, mostly from burning lignite. <laughs> Net calorific values and emission intensity of power station fuels the net calorific value NCV of a fuel is the amount of heat energy produced when a certain mass of that fuel is burnt. The mass of CO2 emitted for each unit of heat produced by burning a fuel is called its CO2 emission intensity or emission factor. In 2017 the carbon content, oxidation factor and CO2 emission intensity of the main fossil fuels burnt in Turkish power stations were 
Coal, being mostly carbon, emits a lot of CO2 when burnt, it has a high CO2 emission intensity. Whereas natural gas, being methane CH4, has four hydrogen atoms to burn for each one of carbon, and thus a medium CO2 emission intensity. Moreover, coal analyze of Turkish lignite, shows it to have a lot of ash and moisture, and to have a lower energy value of coal and high emission intensity. In other words, it emits more CO2 than typical lignites per unit energy produced when burnt. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Grid emission intensity. The grid emission intensity is the mass of CO2 produced per unit of electrical energy supplied to the grid. As thermal power stations generally convert less than half the heat energy into electrical energy their grid emission intensities are much greater than the emission intensities shown in the table above. In fact even when adding in Turkey's renewable power which except perhaps geothermal emits little CO2 the country still averages a grid emission intensity over 460 GCO2 per kilowatt hours over 125 T per terajoule Both grid intensity and carbon emissions per person are worse than the global average Coal-fired power stations Coal-fired power stations emitted 98 mount CO2 EQ in 2017. Coal in Turkey is the largest source of the nation's greenhouse gases. In 2016, coal combustion emitted over 150 mount CO2 EQ. Over a mount CO2 EQ is emitted for every TWH electricity generated in Turkey by coal-fired power stations. Once emissions from coal burnt for industry and building heating, and methane emissions from coal mining are added to those from the almost 100 terawatt-hours coal-fired electricity generated annually, about one-third of Turkey's emissions are from coal. However methane emissions from coal mining are the largest uncertainty in Turkey's total, Energy Minister Fadi Donmez favors coal. More coal-fired power plants are planned, to burn lignite from coalfields such as Elbistan, and the government has guaranteed to purchase electricity from coal-fired power stations until 2024 at an inflation-linked price. Turkey's climate change policy includes increasing the economic life of coal reserves. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Gas-fired power stations. Gas-fired power stations in Turkey emitted 45 mount CO2 EQ in 2017. However, their subsidies will be reduced in 2020. Topic. Transport fuel The road-dominated transport system emitted 85 mount of CO2 EQ in 2017, 16% of the nation's total, 79 mount from roads in Turkey followed by 4 mount from domestic aviation. Emissions from air transport are expected to grow rapidly since the opening of Istanbul Airport. Although Turkey has joined the carbon offsetting and reduction scheme for international aviation emissions from domestic aviation are not taxed. More than three quarters of road transport emissions are from diesel. Although gasoline and diesel fuel except possibly agricultural diesel prices are above the G20 average and electricity is subsidized there are a relatively tiny proportion of charging stations and electric cars. 
As of May 2019 there were no low emission zones in any Turkish cities, although enabling regulations were introduced in 2019. The rate of special consumption tax, a sales tax on luxuries such as private cars, and annual motor vehicle tax is lower for electric cars than for fossil fuel cars, but batteries are taxed by weight. Electric buses and hybrid cars are manufactured locally, but none of Turkey's car factories produce purely electric cars. Very few foreign-made electric cars are sold, with the Tesla Model 3 being unavailable due to a 120% tariff. As of 2018 Turkey lacks any measures to reduce the lifecycle greenhouse gas emissions of petrol and diesel vehicles. <laughs> Home energy Residential fuel contributed 43 mount CO2 EQ in 2017. As well as causing other local air pollution, subsidies for poor families to use coal for heating also produce black carbon, a contributor to climate change. Industry. In 2017 industry emitted 13% of greenhouse gases. Iron, steel and cement account for 40% of primary energy consumed by industry and those industries are making efforts to become more environmentally friendly. <laughs> cement Amongst the world's cement-producing countries Turkey produces the most in Europe. In 2016 cement production emitted 55.2 mt of CO2 eq. <inaudible> Reducing emissions from cement Obviously using less concrete reduces emissions. Turkey's construction sector contracted considerably at the end of 2018. The biggest reduction in emissions from cement production itself could be made by reducing the clinker content from the current 87%, for example by instead making LC3 cement which is only half clinker. The second biggest reduction could be made by switching half of the fuel from hard coal and petcoke to a mixture of tires, refuse-derived fuel and biomass. The country has plenty of the inputs for such a mixture and some plants already use it. <inaudible> <inaudible> Iron and steel In 2017 iron and steel production emitted 21 mount of CO2 eq. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Carbon capture and storage. Further decarbonization of cement production would depend heavily on carbon capture and storage CCS. CCS is not currently financially viable as the country has no carbon price. A study is investigating whether it is technically viable given the earthquake risk from the geology of Turkey, in a salt dome near Lake Tuz may be possible. <laughs> Agriculture In 2017 agriculture emitted 12% of greenhouse gases mainly due to enteric fermentation, agricultural soils and fertilizer management. However the amount of nitrous oxide emitted by agricultural soils is very uncertain. Fuel for agriculture is subsidized. Some sugar factories, such as Turksikar, burn coal and some run small coal-fired power plants and the agriculture minister has said that sugar is a strategic product.
Topic: <laughs> Waste. In 2017, waste emitted 3.3% of greenhouse gases. As organic waste sent to landfill emits methane, Turkey plans to separate more of it for composting. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Energy efficiency. Early in 2018, the Energy Efficiency Action Act came into force. It commits nearly 11 billion United States dollars to efficiency and could significantly limit emissions. However, as of late 2018, policies had yet to be translated into measurable targets and implementation measures. Topic Companies Aren Holding, via Aren Energy's coal fired Zeets power stations, emits over 2% of Turkey's greenhouse gases, and ICDAs emits over 1% via its Beckerly coal fired power stations. Turkish Airlines did not respond to the 2018 Carbon Disclosure Project questionnaire and in 2019 was named as one of the airlines having the weakest plans to cut emissions. Topic. Planning and forecasts Emissions from electricity generation could be up to 200 mount by 2021. The OECD says that Turkey needs to integrate climate and energy objectives, and its national climate change strategy and action plan should break down GHG emissions reduction goals by sector and include regular monitoring and evaluation. Topic. International comparison of mitigation targets Portugal, which has regions with similar solar potential, aims to be carbon neutral by 2050. Topic. Sinks Carbon sinks, mainly increasing Turkey's forest cover, offset 19% of national emissions in 2017. Topic: <inaudible> Mitigation. In 2019, the OECD recommended that mitigation efforts be increased. Turkey's intended nationally determined contributions INDC, submitted in 2015, are up to 21% reduction in GHG emissions from the business as usual bow level by 2030 but that would still result in a large rise in emissions and has been described as critically insufficient. Policy for a just transition away from carbon intensive assets such as coal is also lacking. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Energy. As of 2019, high interest rates are an obstacle to the construction of solar power plants. However, as Turkey has plenty of water for the moment, wind and sunshine it would be relatively easy for the country to escape from carbon lock in if Turkey's energy policy was changed to remove fossil fuel subsidies. Also moving towards a hydrogen economy, for example for heating, could reduce dependence on imported natural gas. Alternatively in rural areas without a piped gas supply heat pumps might be used. Economics In the late 20th and early 21st centuries growth of the Turkish economy and population was accompanied by increased emissions from electricity generation, industry and construction. 
However given Turkey's renewable energy potential and scope for energy efficiency gains it is not yet known whether, when economic growth resumes after Turkey's 2018 recession, it will be strongly correlated with increased emissions or not. Turkey's own carbon emissions cost Turkey money, even without considering possible carbon tariffs from other countries. Plans and policies specified in the 2015 INDC are claimed to be insufficient to meet Turkey's INDC emissions target. The long-term impact of climate change on any economy is highly uncertain and very difficult to estimate. However short-term co-benefits of climate change mitigation have been estimated at over US$50 per tonne CO2 abated for health alone for middle-income countries generally. Bogazici University have developed an decision support tool and integrated assessment model for energy and environmental policy for Turkey and one study puts the health benefits at 2.9-3.6 billion euros per year mainly a substantial increase in GDP due to reduced PM2.5 air pollution and another that by creating a national emissions trading market at a 50 United States dollars per ton carbon price the INDC commitment could be met at a cost of 0.8% of GDP by 2030 but did not estimate the benefits. Another study suggests that a revenue neutral carbon tax might be best for the economy. Countries without a carbon tax or emissions trading could be vulnerable to future carbon tariffs imposed by the EU, the UK or other export partners. <laughs> <laughs> Finance Turkey receives by far the most EU climate change financing and the EBRD is investing. Topic. Reforestation and other land use changes Reforestation and changes in land use may offset 10% to 15% of fossil fuel emissions, but this estimate is highly uncertain as warmer and drier air in the south and west may make it difficult to sustain the present forest cover. However government and the NGO the Tima Foundation are encouraging reforestation and in 2015 stated that by 2050 forests are envisioned to stretch across over four-fifths of the country's territory. <laughs> Soil Three-quarters of the land is deficient in soil organic carbon and this is being mapped to be added to Turkey's National Soil Database. <inaudible> Renewable energy and energy efficiency National and international investments are being made in renewable energy and energy efficiency, for example by the EBRD. Smart meters are being installed but at a slow pace. Buildings <inaudible> 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 Building standards do not take into account the climate differences across Turkey, and the existing 2005 Environment Act, energy efficiency regulation, and green building certificates are often not properly implemented. Adopting the EU standard 2018/844, EU amending the Directive on the Energy Performance of Buildings to increase the proportion of passive houses has also been suggested by academics. Transport Buses 
Although electric buses are manufactured and exported, as of 2018 less than 100 are in use within the country. Topic. Cycling Cities could be improved to make local journeys by bicycle safer. Topic. Cars In 2018 less than 4,000 hybrid cars and 155 electric cars were sold in Turkey. The automotive industry in Turkey plans to make electric cars from 2022, and has estimated that doing so would save 7 billion euros on the current account over 15 years, in part due to savings on oil imports. As of 2018 most of the country has no fast charging stations. Regulation of Uber and similar companies is unclear and taxis could be better integrated with public transport. Hydrofluorocarbons <inaudible> 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 As of May 2019 ratification of the Kigali Amendment to the Montreal Protocol re-emission of hydrofluorocarbons is awaiting presidential approval. Economics In 2015 less than half of carbon emissions from energy use were priced. Taxes meet the social cost of road transport carbon, although perhaps not the social cost of Turkey's local air pollution as diesel is taxed less than gasoline, but all other sectors have a large gap between the actual price and the cost if this negative externality had been fully included. Thus the external cost of most greenhouse gas emissions is not being borne by the emitters. In other words, the polluter pays principle is being violated. In 2017 a tenth of Turkey's electricity was generated by renewables, which reduced gas import costs somewhat. However being mainly hydropower in some years this is hit by drought. According to Julia Segili, an economist at Turkey's central bank although imports of solar and wind power components accounted for 12% of import costs in 2017, as in EU countries this is largely due to one-time setup costs. She said that compared to Italy and Greece, Turkey has not invested enough in solar and wind power. Co-benefits of curbing local air pollution Although health would be the primary benefit of cutting air pollution in Turkey GHG emission reduction would be a co-benefit of, a low emission zone for Istanbul traffic, and stopping the distribution of free coal for residential heating. Co-benefits of climate change mitigation Co-benefits of climate change mitigation are being researched, increasing the share of renewable energy could make the country more energy independent and increase employment. Most renewable energy jobs in Turkey are in solar PV and solar heating. Topic. Politics According to the Ministry of Energy and Natural Resources climate change is one of the world's biggest problems however like neighboring Iran, Iraq and Russia Turkey is one of the few countries which has not ratified the Paris Agreement. The Climate Change and Air Management Coordination Board is responsible for coordination across government departments. 
It also includes three business organizations, when limiting their actions on climate change Russia, Turkey, Australia and Brazil have all cited the example of US President Trump's promise to withdraw from the Paris Agreement. It has been suggested that although limiting emissions through directives to the state-owned gas and electricity companies would be less effective than a carbon price or tax, it would be more politically acceptable Topic: Access to data. Information in the EU ETS must be openly shared with the public. As of 2018, however, MRV data in Turkey is not open to public access, although some companies report voluntarily. Topic. See also Climate change in Turkey Energy policy of Turkey Greenhouse gas inventory List of countries by carbon dioxide emissions Notes <laughs>